real recognize real these eyebrows on fleek hey bow bow hey bow oh yes good morning you guys welcome to max house today's video is all about the brows baby let's do it so we're jumping right in with my anastasia beverly hills eyebrow brow whiz pencil whatever and it has a little spoolie on the end to get them hairs together in the right spot along with an adjustable tip skirt skirt you know okay <laughs> clearly you see your girl is on like level 10 right about now but anywho so and i also have the anastasia beverly hills pomade this one is in chocolate versus the pencil which is in dark brown so the chocolate is a one shade lighter i also have a uh, angled liner brush with spoolie on the end for the application of the pomade and yeah, let's do it okay so first thing you want to do is make sure you have your eyebrows waxed so that means either you can go to Sally's Walmart whoever buy your own wax and do it or you go see you know your friends at the nail salon let them hit it up for the low ten dollars you know mm-hmm get them little hairs together so then you're going to take your pencil and begin to do soft strokes on the bottom it is very important that you do not start this right where your eyebrow begins because we don't want them square boxes for eyebrows like leave that for every corner of a table every box you ever open leave leave them corners and boxes for that okay for your face no you wanted something that's soft and natural okay so uh what you did on the bottom you're gonna bring that up to the top and do your little line on the top and then slowly start to fill in doing hair like strokes in between the brow just filling in and then i like to add like a few little individual little strokes at the beginning of the brow so i don't line it above and below but i do do a few strokes up and down then i take the spoolie side and brush that product throughout my eyebrows and then like on a regular day sometimes i just stop here because yeah i don't be feeling like doing all the concealer and stuff and i feel like this gives you a nice cleaned up brow for the go you know a little quick little easy lazy brow and if you see any spots you can go ahead and fill those in I kind of like to leave a few spots in between though because I feel like it just makes it look more natural and believable like people be like did you do something to your eyebrows so anywho as you can see like just looking in comparison from left to right one side just kind of got whatever going on the other side is more defined cleaned up it is ready for the conversation this face is ready so now if i do do the concealer i am going to take a flat concealer i don't know if this is a concealer brush or eyeshadow brush or what i'm using it for both i use it for both in life um and then i have three different concealers not showing you more so for the pro for the product and texture but more so for the color So the one that is in my left hand, which is to your right, the MAC one in the little tube, uh, that is the lightest color versus coming to the other end, the Kat Von D, which is closest to my skin tone. Um, I'm going to go with that one just to show how much easier it is to blend it in going with a skin tone one not it's not exactly my skin tone but this is the closest one that i have for right now i do plan to go buy one that is more skin tone i just haven't made my way down to the little old sephora store but anywho so you're gonna take that product and that one i do do like from the bridge of the nose all the way to the end of the brow like really kind of creating that crisp line um for some clean brows the thing about this is if say you made a mistake while you were trying to draw in your brows you can take this concealer and clean it up so i love doing this step when i do do it because it does like kind of create that perfect brow you know you got your everyday brow and then you got that brow that's like girl don't play with me do you see this face 
Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know what's going on with me, but I am like too live this morning. Like, <laughs> I feel like I've been drinking that Jigger Juice, baby. Representing that 225 all the way every day. But not really, though. Like, i just been drinking water this morning. I don't know. But anywho, so you just take that brush and you can do little small strokes to go ahead and blend that out a little bit. And seriously, you guys, do you see this brow is like coming to life? Like right before your very eyes, it is coming to life. So, and I really do like you guys, I spent a long time trying to find the perfect pencil. This, this that, that Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is, baby. They got and brought it three times now. So, anywho, going in with my sponge, a wet sponge, I am now blending that out. So that, and like I said, I already, or maybe I didn't say, but my face is pretty much already done and has foundation. This is not my typical order for doing makeup, but since this video was focused on brows, I saved that for last. So, just taking that sponge to kind of blend it out. And like you'll see, it just looks natural and just gorgeous, honey, gorgeous. And now, so you see me applying a little bit of that concealer, just doing a few vertical strokes in the beginning of my brow, just to soften it up some, not that I'm trying to like make like little slits or anything. So now moving on. I have my pomade that I'm going to use on the other side just to show you how you can use both. So I like to dip that brush tip into the pomade, get a little bit of the product on the edge of it, and then you'll see that I'm going to take the top of the pomade little uh, container and wipe away some of the excess so that it's not like a big hard line that I end up creating. So, again, not starting at the very beginning of the brow, but a little ways in, I'm going to start creating that line at the bottom. So, in regards to the pomade, I do feel like it's a little bit harder and not as fast as the actual little stick that I used on the other side. Um, just because I feel like you just got to, it, it just takes more work to do this now somebody else might like it more but just for me personally that's how I feel um but I guess you can get a different effect from it it kind of fills it in a little bit more whereas the um brow width is more defined strokes so and even sometimes I do a combination of the two on my brows but for this video I like I'm just showing you like a comparison of what you can use products that's out there um, the one thing I will say, if you're going to use a pomade, make sure you do get a good brush for it. I kind of got this brush from Sally's and it probably was like less than $5. And I feel like I want a new brush just because this one kind of bends and I don't like that. Like when I'm trying to apply it, like it just bends too much. The brush moves around too much to say that, you know, eyebrows are very, you want them to find. And so if it's bending now, like that messes up your whole angle sometimes. So anyway, I would say get a good brush. So I'm going to go in now with the lightest color concealer that I have just to show you like in comparison, like how that would work if you choose to use a lighter one, which you can. Um, it, it again is going to just take more work as far as blending it out. So it's all about what you want, how much time you have and whatnot, what type of look you're trying to achieve. But basically we're going in doing the same thing that we did on the other side, which is applying the concealer above and below the eyebrow to really define those brows where they start and stop at and definitely clean up the eyebrow. So just like you can use the concealer to correct any mistake you made with a pencil or pomade, you can also um, take your pencil back like after you do the concealer and say if you went too much into the brow, but you can take your pencil or pomade and apply that over the concealer again to just kind of fix where you made a mistake. So you can kind of use both of them to fix the other. And as you can see, I'm looking like, God dang, that's harsh. <laughs> 
So yeah, it's gonna go in again with my sponge and just start to try and blend that out some. And actually, it's not gonna be so bad, really. Um, but again, like I said, it, to me, it just takes more work. So it just all depends on what you want to do. So blend it out above and below. And again, to me, it's like when you use something that's like a bunch of shades lighter, you got to really make sure, okay, did I leave a spot over here? Did I leave a spot over there? Like you got to really look in that mirror, which is sometimes, you know, we have a tendency to do our makeup up close and then you bag up and it's like, oh, dang, you know, <laughs> so bag up a little bit, take a little look from far away, then come zoom back in, you know, but, um, like I said, it, it didn't turn out bad, but it's just whatever you like. I'm going to still go in with this bronzer from my Tartius Contour Palette just to warm in the area up because I, I just wasn't feeling how bright it was and not looking close to my skin tone. So, And then also if you use a cream, you want to use a powder on top so that it doesn't move around. So... I just went ahead and knocked two birds out with one stone using this bronzer. And, like, lately I've really been loving bronzers. Like, I don't know. I was watching somebody's video and they used it. And I was like, oh, I need to start doing it. And there I was in the store trying to buy more when I already had some at home. But, you know, you know how us women do. We go find a reason to spend money. But, anywho, so I'm just blending out um where I put that concealer with my eyeshadow I already have on just because uh like I said this wouldn't be my normal order for doing makeup so I was just trying to go back and fix that and blend it out but I really think both of them came out well um I'm gonna go back and add these stripes to that one that I did with the pomade just to soften up that brow but you can see even without the stripes it still looks good like you don't have to do that step if you don't want to um like i say it just softens and makes it look more natural to me also if you like they sell like the little brow gels too like say if you have like hairs that kind of go in different directions and you just want to make them all stay in place and whatnot you can add that i didn't add it on this video and i actually did have one i typically don't like what i'll do is i'll brush my hairs into place and if i have anyone sticking out crazy i just take some scissors and cut it off so that's pretty much how i end up solving that problem but Hopefully you like these brows and I hope that you learned something, girl. You are ready, girl. Go ahead, go in the bathroom, give it a try. I feel encouraged. You can do this. <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if this was the most litty eyebrow video you've ever seen in your life, girl, you know what to do. Tap that thumbs up, okay?